I am Chef Bhina Arora on the Thai Food and Drink Festival for Travel Dine. Thai cuisine is supposed to be spicy but not all over. Like in Bangkok, the food is uh, not very spicy. But the food in South Thailand and in North is very, very spicy. And uh, it is sweet also, a little sweet. I won't say that much, but it is sweet also. When we say that the curries and the stir fried, which is like we call Thai Kapao, that is chicken stir fried with basil. You'll find that on the street, people are eating this almost every evening. Because it's easy, you know, like uh, you can say one. The moment you take the rice, just pour the chicken with basil on top and you're a complete meal you have. If you ask me that, then there's one more item which we till now have not introduced in India. It's a rice uh, noodle. On that we serve curry. Then we have different kind of vegetable, raw vegetable to go with that. Because Thailand, uh, the food has got different kind of flavor. Like I told you, spicy and a little sweet. But then there are still fried items which are like, uh, not. I will not say bland because we use white pepper in that. It's different from other country and we use a lot of herb. Like we have galangar, lemongrass and coffee leaf, which gives very good aroma to the food. Then it's fish sauce, nampla. Without that, I think I won't be able to cook the food. When we make curry, then we really need uh, the uh, galangal and lemongrass. But when we make stir fried, it is again chilies, bird eye chilies and garlic. See, in Bangkok, mostly they have like stir fried vegetable with one curry. But then in South Thailand, where I have come from, we mostly have fish curry, which is made without coconut milk or oil. It's just boiled with uh, turmeric, onion, chilies, and either lemon juice or tamarind. So that is our, uh, you can say, staple diet. Nothing like that. Mostly, you know, whatever is left over, the curry or something is like that. We eat that for morning for breakfast with rice. Then lunch, most of the time, like, uh, because, you know, we have lots of Chinese in Thailand. So whatever we eat, we have soup with that. And Thai people, they don't eat like, you know, like soup, appetizer and main course, like a course. Everything comes onto the table and everything is eaten together. Unless you're having a drink, then you have appetizer with the drinks. No, because you know what? The meal that we have is not like heavy. Like uh, in India, you eat chapati, which is quite heavy. So rice, we don't eat it. So in between, they don't snack a lot. But yes, they do go for like noodle. So that every two, three hours, you'll find Thai people eating food, not snacks. It's like noodle on the street. You get noodle soup, then you get stir-fried noodle. Those are the, you can say, snacks for the Thai. Uh, thai street food is very tasty. And why is it popular? It is because of hygiene. It's very clean, first thing. And the person who is serving is also very clean. So, you know, when you see another person, like, you see all the cleanliness, you feel like eating the food. Then the presentation and most of the items are cooked in front of you. Only the gravy which comes in a pot, but it's all, like, boiling hot. So you'll find in Thailand, if you're walking on the street, you'll find that every people are going home, carrying bags of food home. Because when they go home, they just make rice. And it becomes cheaper also, you know, than cooking at home. Then you have variety to eat. All stir-fried item and curry, but uh, then you know, then there are other stalls which are selling only the salad. Then different kind of salad, 10, 20 items of salad that they sell on the street, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely, because like in the north of Thailand, Chiang Mai and all, they have different kind of cuisine and in the south different, Bangkok, Bangkok also is different. See, in, uh, in north, mostly they have their chutney. And the food that they eat is the, like they have sticky rice as a staple. In, in place of rice, they have sticky rice. But in uh, Bangkok and in South, they eat rice. And the rice that we eat is not this basmati. We have jasmine rice. And for your information, jasmine rice doesn't mean rice is made from jasmine flour. Because I've been having guests coming that your rice is not smelling of jasmine. It, it's the name, you know, like jasmine rice. Like when you say basmati rice, what is basmati? I, I don't know the meaning of basmati. So, jasmine rice also, you know, it's a name, like khao mali, we call it. So, see, in Thailand, the curry which we make is very thin. But in India, when I'm also cooking here for the guests, we make it a little thicker. Because people prefer it to be thicker. Even the soup that we have, coconut milk, if we give them thin, they don't prefer, they want it to be thicker. 
we have green curry, we have red curry, we have yellow curry, then we have panang, then we have masaman, then we have kangsom, then we have kangrian. We have many curry. <laughs> yeah, kangrian is the curry that we make without coconut milk. We can use green curry paste, make it without coconut milk. And then kangsom is the one I was telling you about South Thailand. It is just boiled with fish and the uh, vegetable that you want to add. No oil at all in that. So you can say very healthy. Yeah. But very spicy, huh? Yeah, it is very spicy. See, I, in Thailand they say if you don't sweat, or your nose doesn't flow. So uh, the food is not that tasty. <laughs> so you really have to sweat it. <laughs> not everyone, but yes, now they are. We, we have uh, foreigners coming here asking for spicy food and they really eat very spicy. After serving so many chilies, they say add more into it. So yeah, we have those kind of people also. In Thailand, people, uh, if I say like I'm also a Thai, but I can say that none of the meal is without meat or seafood or anything. I mean, we are like non-veg eater, we eat. Like anyone asks me, are you vegetarian? I say, no, I'm a pure non-veg. So that's what I give answer. But with the Chinese influence, yes, many people have started eating vegetarian. Like uh, vegetarian, when we say we make it Thai style only. But if you ask me, I will also not go for vegetarian. I would love to eat my uh, non-veg food. And we do eat a lot of seafood. In, Tha in South Thailand, where I am from, Pathalu, that place, every evening, every house make fish, but different kind, like we have catfish, we have tuna, we have sardine and all that we make into curry, or we fry it and eat. So fish has to be there. In Bangkok, they eat a lot of chicken. Chicken, pork is there, duck is there. And in the north also, they eat a lot of uh, pork and chicken. And on the roadside also, you'll find that people have got seafood stall on the road also. So seafood, everything, crab, you know, People are very fond of crab. Like in India, I started once in the restaurant. People couldn't, uh, you know, like they find it very d difficult to break the crab. Although we gave them the, uh, this thing also, the breaker, but, but they couldn't do it. In India, like for all the curry, we use onion and tomatoes and masala and all that. In Thai, no. We don't use onion and tomatoes in all. We don't use tomato in any curry. So it's only onion that we use and lemongrass and galangal. Okay, now I'll tell you something which is like shrimp paste chutney. That is a hot selling item in Thailand. So you can have just rice with that shrimp paste chutney and repeat it that in Thailand the food is spicy. So you just don't eat curry and rice. We serve uh, like uh, raw vegetable. We have cucumber, we have orbigin, then we have different kind of leaves. Cashew nut leaves we eat, the, the, the small one. Then they are, they are uh, in Hindi it is called kundru. That kundru, uh, yeah, you eat the fruit and we Thai eat the leaves. And then we have morning glory, which we can like dip into one boiling water and eat it with the food to reduce the chilies. So this shrimp paste, which I'm telling you, can go, it's, if you ask me, I think that is the best. But then, you know, not everyone in India can stand the smell of that. Yes. And we serve that mostly with fish, fried fish. The one that I'm making, kai ka pao. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I find people coming here asking for kai kapau. In the beginning, I never had that on my menu. But now I've started doing, and we are doing very well. And with that, you in, in place of chicken, you can do with prawn, you can do with vegetable, you can do with uh, tahu. Tahu means uh, bean curd. Yeah. Kangsom. Okay. Yeah, kangsom with the sa, sa curry, which I was telling you, mm -hmm. where we don't use oil at all. Okay. That is my favorite, yeah. Yeah, in India, like we serve according to courses. We have appetizer, then soup, then main course, then dessert. In Thailand, everything comes on the table and eaten together. Only the dessert comes later on. But then you'll find, you know, main. Here in India, we have service spoon and all those kind of things. There we like take our spoon and just put in the same bowl. Everyone use the same spoon, you know. Like we can use our spoon in the curry. There's nothing like service spoon or anything. That is how we used to eat. And I remember when we were small, we never used to sit on the dining table. It was like mom used to put a mat and we all sit on the mat and eat food. Till the age of 10, I was like, we used to eat on the mat. Yes, if you go to like uh, outside Bangkok, you'll find that people in the suburb and all, they eat like that. And I think it's more fun eating like that. That's why, you know, in India, we have this place which is called Kanto. Kanto actually is a place where people sit and eat food, where they can slip their leg underneath. So. It's just like sitting on the mat only, but in a modern way. 
See, when they go to Thailand, first thing they have to get adjust to uh, the Thai fish sauce. And if they, they are people who cannot uh, get used to that smell, so they can ask for light soya sauce to be replaced. So in the beginning, I think they should go for stir-fried item with rice. And curry also, they should go for the vegetarian curry instead of going straight for the non-veg. So that don't, uh, they don't have that, you know, smell of the shrimp paste. Because in the curry also, we add shrimp paste. Green curry and stir-fried, yeah. And of course, bean curd, tofu, yeah. Now, like in the restaurant also, I'm selling silky bean curd, which is an excellent dish. I'm from South Thailand, from a very small town. So when we were small, we like order food, take it home mostly, or we have street food. And in Bangkok, if you ask me, there, there's a shop by the name of Siri Poshana. That guy can cook anything you want. If, even if it is not there in the menu, you just tell him that you want this, he'll make it the way you want to eat. So I think I enjoy my food over there. When we say Poshana means uh, food, so Siri Poshana. Yes, of course, yes, definitely. Kanom chin, like I told you, the Thai rice noodle with curry. And instead of, you know, they, these days, instead of serving with the fish curry and all, they are serving with green curry also. So, any curry you like, you can choose out of that. And of course, I love eating the vegetable that they serve with that, the raw vegetable that they serve. It's really, you know, the moment you sit on the table and you see so many table, uh, so many vegetables in front of you, you feel like eating. See, in Thailand, like I told you, stir-fried, which take just, uh, if your ingredients are ready, it takes like five minutes to cook morning glory. And then we have something like we cook in banana leaves, we steam it. Then there are other items which we make, one is sticky rice in the bamboo stick. That also we have. Uh, then, then we have uh, one more sticky rice which we wrap in the banana leaves and we roast that. So this is the difference that we have. People are not adjusting to the Thai desert at all because I, when I go to Bangkok, even I see Thai Indian people walking around eating only food, not the desert. And we love the Thai desert because Thai desert is not that sweet like Indian. So most of the desert are made in coconut milk. Like you, uh, like uh, I'll tell you, like we have banana. We uh, stew the banana in coconut milk. And it is like very tasty. Then we have sweet potato in the banana. Then we have sago sago, which in India we serve with milk. But there we serve with coconut cream. It's made in the same way, like you make with milk, but we don't boil, we boil it with water. Then on top of that, a dash of coconut cream on top of that. There is a lot of scope because now people are traveling a lot and Bangkok is a hot destination for people. And now people are going there for their marriages also. So when they go there for marriage, they try all kind of things. So I think it's going to become a, like a hit more than what it is now.